Hey, this is the Motor City. It's what we do. It's truly the Motor City's time to shine. The countdown is on this year's Detroit Auto Show. And joining us tonight is Thad Zott, president of the Detroit Auto Show, with a look at some of the exciting new features coming up in September. Today is a big day. This is when they revealed uh, when the show will be happening, of course, and what will be happening in September. So you got to mark your calendars. We'll tell you about dates in a minute. We only have a few minutes here, but I want to get into some of the kind of things that people really want to know about. One of the big stories here, you know, uh, there was a break in the auto show. We came back after COVID, and we had the show last year, and now we're really revving up. Debuts. There's going to be some debuts this year that people are going to get excited about. Yeah, you know, uh, Rod Alberts, our executive director, he's been doing this 30 years, and he always tells me, the cars are the stars. Yes. So we do know that at the show, that's what the real stars are. We have a wonderful venue in Huntington Place and, of course, the iconic city of Detroit. When it comes down to a successful show, you got to have great vehicles, and they are the stars of the show. And we have confirmed some very exciting reveals this year, debuts, if you will. And uh, so I think the, the public's going to be very, very excited to see what we have. Because that's one of the big reasons people come to auto shows is they want to see a reveal. And uh, that's something that we're really going to see this year, which is going to be really awesome. Also, another thing people get excited about, you know, I'm the son of a GM uh, guy who worked at GM and Ford. We all know somebody who works in the autos yes. in this great town. And so the big three, they have all the brands taking part. So it's going to be a bigger show in that in regard, right? We are really excited about our partnership with the big three. They have been fantastic to work with. You know, they have this all-in mentality for our Detroit show. It's their backyard it's their home grounds uh, but you know what auto shows have gone through a few challenges over sure. the last few years and so for them to commit to bring all brands to our show is fantastic all three GM Ford Stellantis will be bringing all the brands they represent I believe it's the only show where they're gonna bring all brands when yeah. I say that sometimes they may just bring a, a Buick or they may just bring a Ford and not a Lincoln at our show in Detroit, all brands will be represented, and we're very, very proud of our, our big three. And coming after the post-COVID, we saw that there was, you know, for instance, Jeep came out blazing, you know, with all of their stuff we're looking at over there. Uh, they had a lot of cool exhibitions. But this year, we're going to see all three come out and say, hey, let's, let's show off our wares, and that's really exciting. Um, all right, EV, whether you like, look, a lot of people say it's political. It's not. There, there's electric vehicles out there, a lot of them. They're making them for all over the world. Uh, that is happening, and there's going to be a, some interesting EV displays as well. Very excited about EV. Obviously, the, it's the big buzz in our industry. Yeah. We're in a major transitional time period in our in our industry, and EVs is taking a lot of that uh, the, you know investment that these OEMs are making in particular. Obviously, the media has jumped on board. Uh, you said politically, but you know it's part it's part of the politics too, yeah. right? Everybody's pushing the, the EV. So I think what we can bring to the table is some education and some comfort level. There's a lot of, I think, hesitation still about with this new technology. We're going to have an opportunity to have a whole bunch of EVs under one roof where you can actually experience it. Some you'll be able to drive, some you'll be able to ride, but we have a test track in the back of Huntington Place this year. First time we're having an indoor EV track with 15 different EV models on that track. And so you'll really be able to experience this technology. I think a lot of people who are hesitant will walk away from our show feeling much more comfortable about the technology. But that's what this is about. It's not about kicking tires anymore and just walking around with posters and a bag, as I did as a kid. Correct. This is about really getting in a car or a vehicle and experiencing it. And they get to do that, again, in the EV world and elsewhere as well. Yeah, we're going to have six to eight engagements where people can actually get in these vehicles and experience them. You know, I think last year you saw some of the things that Ford and Jeep did with the uh, hill tracks. Oh, yeah. Those are going to be back, and people love those. The OEMs love them. They, they actually got to interview a lot of people that came off those tracks right after and incredible responses. So it was a win-win. But I think we're going to see more of those, uh, some bigger, some bigger uh, items set up as far as tracks go. And like I said, an outdoor track activation too where the consumer will be able to drive mm -hmm. EVs uh, on the Grand Prix track. So again, we just got a lot of excitement going. More to come. Stay tuned. Yeah, you know what? He, this guy gets pumped <laughs> up. You talk to him about this. There's a reason he's the president of this year's show. Thad Zott, so good to see you. We're Likewise. excited and we're excited here at Fox 2 to, to bring some great things to light with you. So well, we're all in this to together and the media is yep. a big part of it. You guys have been fantastic. So thank you so much for your support. Always good to see you, my man. Likewise. Be well. We'll talk to you very soon.